Optimizing your display is essential to ensure a comfortable viewing experience on your PC, and Windows 10 provides a number of ways to do that. To get started, right-click anywhere on the desktop and select Display Settings from the pop-up menu. You can also get to it from the Start menu by clicking the Settings icon on the lower left, then going to System, followed by Display on the left if it's not already selected. From here, you can adjust your screen brightness by dragging the slider, as well as turn on your device's nightlight schedule. This reduces the blue light emitted from your screen in the evening, which can help you sleep better. Click the link below to modify your nightlight settings. For example, you can turn it on now, which will adjust the color of your screen. You can also modify the color temperature to a more comfortable setting. Lastly, you can also enable or disable the nightlight schedule, which by default is automatically set to turn on from sunset to sunrise, although you can specify your own hours if you prefer. Note that you can also toggle nightlight on and off from the action center in the far right corner by clicking the nightlight tile. To return to the previous page, click the back button on the top left corner. If you've got a high resolution display like a 4K monitor, you can also use the scale and layout drop down to enlarge the size of your text, apps, and other on screen items to make things easier to view. If the scaling makes things appear worse, just set it back to 100%. You can also try setting a custom scale, although use this option with caution as it might make things unreadable if you set a scale that your display doesn't support. The next setting you can modify is your display resolution, which controls the size and clarity of everything you see on screen, and is probably the most important setting in optimizing your display. Normally, Windows sets your optimal resolution automatically, although you can change it to something else which will update it right away. If everything looks OK, hit Keep Changes to apply it. Otherwise, hit Revert to cancel, or just wait 15 seconds and it'll revert automatically. If your screen has a pivot function, you can also rotate your display in landscape or portrait mode to match your screen's physical orientation. Lastly, you can also connect additional displays to your PC, which is great for productivity. Just connect the second screen to a spare HDMI, DVI, VGA, or DisplayPort on your computer and power it on, after which Windows should detect it within a few seconds. If it doesn't, click Detect to have Windows search again. Once it's found, you'll see an image representing your displays at the top of the page. From here, you can select the second display and configure it independently using the same options below, although some of the settings will apply to both displays. In addition, you can also choose how you want your multiple screens set up. For example, you can duplicate your desktop on both displays, which is useful if you're doing a presentation and want to show others what's on your screen. Or, you can extend your desktop across both displays, giving you more space to spread your work. If you've finished using the second display, you can also switch back to your first screen, or you can show it only on screen 2, which is perfect if you want to hook up your device to a big screen to watch a movie. We'll extend the displays to give us an ultra-wide desktop. If you choose this option, you can also set your second display as the main one. This will show the full taskbar notification area as well as all your desktop icons, although you can move them to any screen if you want. One thing to check when extending your desktop is that your displays are physically arranged in the same order you see here. This ensures that your mouse and windows move seamlessly between them in the right direction. To do that, click the Identify link so you can match up your physical displays to their on-screen counterparts. Here we can see that our current display refers to screen 1 in the image. Once you've identified which screen is which, just drag the on-screen displays so that their order matches your physical layout, then hit the Apply button below to update your changes. Note that you can also connect the second display from the Action Center, whether it's a monitor, TV, or projector. Tap or click the Project button from the Quick Actions list, or hold down the Windows key on your keyboard and press P. From there, you can choose how you want to project your screen on the second display, just like before. You can either duplicate it, extend it, or show it on the second screen only. When you're done, just switch back to your PC screen, then tap or click anywhere else to close the Action Center. One last thing you can tweak on multiple displays is how the taskbar appears on each one. To do that, click the Home icon on the upper left corner of the Settings window, then go to Personalization, followed by Taskbar from the left-hand side. From there, scroll down to the bottom of the page, where you can show or hide the taskbar on all displays, as well as choose which buttons you want to see on each one. You can also control how the buttons are displayed. 
We've covered these options in a separate video on customizing the taskbar, so check it out if you haven't already. When you're done, just close the settings window to finish up. So with Windows 10, you've got even more ways to optimize your display just the way you want it.